brunch on it. We're not having brunch yet. We're having breakfast right now. Breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Mom. What, baby? Mine did have pineapples on it. Not anymore. Oh. A pineapple not anymore. Was, the pineapples were was the smile because I made like a little face, and then the um chocolate chips are the breakfast. Hit more than just the center one. this video has taken forever to get up um, I made one a few days ago and it was awful and just decided not to I've been working um, three and four days a week and so it's been literally almost two weeks since our psych evaluation was done so I want to tell you guys about it the last video that was uploaded was um, our trip there and I think I showed you guys Maybe a little bit of our hotel room or the view from our hotel room. I don't know what I showed you guys. I have to go back and look at that because I really don't remember. But um, we, uh, of course, you guys got to see that we had our children with us. And so we just got to enjoy the um, trip, like a little mini family vacation. And um, it was it was fun and awesome. Um, so, September the 16th, we had our group psych evaluation and um we got to meet my intended parent for the first time um my daughter of course she she's just so sweet she hugged the intended mom and um, my son just like he doesn't talk to people i mean um when he and when he does he says like off the wall stuff like he told her he could make really really good animal noises or animal sounds or whatever um <laughs> he's just obsessed with sometimes he'll be a panther or sometimes he'll be um this animal or that animal and usually depends on like what kind of movie he's been watching like if he spends the day watching what is it zoom or zoom or i don't i don't know what it's called he'll be like the animal of the day or whatever um we watched black panther so now he's the black panther but whatever um oh no he's a caveman now because we've been watching the crudes over and over and over again so he's a caveman but anyways um with that said uh we got to meet our attendant parents for the first time um it it was kind of awkward for me. I really didn't talk a whole lot, but luckily my husband does, and he is not shy whatsoever. Um, or maybe he is a little bit, and he just gets over it by over-talking, and I um, kind of shut down. Or not shut down, but just like... So, um, like I was saying, when I'm nervous or stuff, I don't talk a whole lot around new people. And I try to think of stuff to say, and then I'm like, 
overthinking and I don't know what to say. But anyways, um, so I do after meeting them, I feel like oh, I really didn't say a whole lot. So I hope I didn't come across as being like standoffish or whatever because I wasn't trying to. Um, I'm just not a talkative person. Um, it's easy to talk to this camera and then post it on YouTube, but it's a lot harder to talk to a person in person. Even with people I know, I really don't talk a whole lot with them. Um, unless they start the conversation and keep it going. But whatever. Anyways, so um, we had the psych evaluation done and we were there. We had to be there at 8.30 in the morning. And we did not leave Thomas 11. So we were there for a while. Um, we went over everything as far as um, termination, where we stood on selective reduction, um, where, I, where I stood as far as where I wanted the IPs in the room when the baby's delivered, where did I care for them to stand, if I had a preference, um, as far as what I decided to do as my birth plan, um, and if they agreed with that. Um, would I be induced so that they could for sh know that they could be there? Um, we went over all of that. I'm trying to think of what else we went over. We went over um, as how much contact we want during the process, which I can go ahead and say that I talked to this I am a whole lot more than I did my previous I am. Um, and I mean, I loved my previous I am. Um, and really wish that things would have worked out. But I do love this um, communication, talking to this one. Um, it seems, I think right now we've talked at least twice a week. And we're still, we're not even done with contracts. We haven't even started contracts yet. Um, so I do enjoy that. Um, what would, Where would we want as far as communication after? Um, we also went over, you know, what my kids would know and... They have a child already, which I think I've said before, um, how much that that child would be told, how much the child hopefully conceived through surrogacy will be told, um, if I'm okay with that, if they share who I am carrying, with, if they share with the child when it's older, that it you know, who I am and stuff like that, um, different things, if I'm okay with um, their child meeting my children and, you know, if they're okay with their child meeting my children, you know, back and forth. Um, we went over just different stuff. I will say that um, there was a couple of things that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. Um, not about the attendant parents, not at all. It was just the way that the um, psychologist said things. Um, one of the things that she did say was um, the mom was talking about how um, selective reduction and, you know, um, if it was triplets and the doctor said, you know, that my life was in danger or whatever because of there was, you know, so many. And the psychiatrist um, said, well, you're just doing one embryo transfer. That's not possible. Um, it's not likely, no, but we have seen where one surrogate had a single embryo transfer and it split into triplets. So it is possible. It's you know, the percentage is way low. That's why I'm only going to do a single embryo transfer because of the low, but my, it's not impossible. So, um, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And then she talked about how, um, you know, you only get positive on pregnancy tests because of the hormones you're taking, which I don't agree with unless you have a trigger shot. I had a trigger shot in my last transfer. So yes, I did get positives on home pregnancy tests. Um, and I did think it was cool to test out the trigger shot, which she's told me was ridiculous, but whatever. Um, so that was crazy. But um, I did enjoy, you know, um, some of the questions that she had us go over helped a lot to say, you know, um, I don't have to wonder what how they feel about me taking a home pregnancy test or whatever. Um, so that's done. We, after the psych evaluation was done, she pretty much told us that we were good to go. Um, she would send everything over to the clinic so that it could all be faxed and we could be legally cleared and all that, or not legally cleared, medically cleared. Um, and we left there and went to brunch with my IPs to this beautiful, beautiful restaurant. 
uh, well, a hotel actually, um, and it was it was it was so beautiful. I was nervous to touch anything. I will, I will not lie. Um, we're very country, and um, it was just beautiful. I did try eggs Benedict, which I've never had before, and I liked it, so that was good. Um, my kids seemed to like um, a good bit of the stuff that they ate. Um, of course, my husband loved it. Um, my, my I am even kind of s snuck out a cookie for my daughter, which was pretty cute. Um, we went over, I mean, we just talked and we were there from 11 until probably almost one o'clock just talking about, you know, work and, um, how they met and how we met and our, and I mean, how husband and wives and me and my husband met and things like that. Um, talking to the kids about their favorite things they like to do and stuff like that. And we heard, you know, the things that their daughter likes, um, Disney shows she likes and different things like that. It was just, it was, um, it was just awesome. I don't know any other way to put it. So, um, I knew that this, this couple is who we need to be with. Um, after that, we took our kids to, um, a museum, a children's museum, which we thought was going to be too, um, young for them, but it wasn't. They loved it. And we spent like two and a half hours there. And, um, then we went back to our hotel room and ate snacks. And, oh yeah, we did stop by Dollar Tree, but we kind of, um, went to not a very good area neighborhood. Um, but it was okay. We went in, got what we needed, snacks and stuff and coloring books and puzzles and we got out. But, um, so that's what we did. We went back, uh, my husband and my son watched a movie together and me and my daughter got on the bed and watched a movie together and played with puzzles and all that. And, um, so that was it. That was all of the psych evaluations. So I'm going to stop here and I'm going to put in, if I haven't already put them in, I'm not sure which way to go, pictures and things, uh, from the day of psych evaluation. You guys have a blessed day, and this is where we end.